Now, if you're just tuning in, our focus tonight is personal security and how to protect yourself. Because now it has gotten to that point. Oh, yeah. You have to protect yourself. Please let us share what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Wayshow Africa 1 with the hashtag Wayshow. Or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 I'll also we'll open our phone lines as well for those that want to call and probably share if they've ever had this kind of experience. Because this is really, really strange, you know, to me. And I'm really, really scared for Nigerians. Yeah. So, um, Benson has sent in a message. He says, in reality, even the Almighty God allowed mankind the ex exclusive privacy of his uh, thoughts. Unless I tell you what I'm thinking, my thoughts remain my privacy. Yeah. This should help guide the decision in whether to install cameras or not. Well, I agree with that, you know. But, you know, I, I was also going to, to ask that the location of that hotel, is it possible? Now, this is me, oh. Mm -hmm. Because they said that the two most lucrative businesses right now in Nigeria is fraud and runs. <laughs> Hold on. And you know, some of those hotels, because of the cost, it's not so expensive and all of that. A lot of these boys, you know, they go there, they lodge. Absolutely. So is it possible that maybe this is one of those kind of hubs where a lot of guys that bring in laptop come to, you know, so maybe also this hotel is also using it to... <laughs> You know, is it possible? Because, you know, there are so many things that I, I kept on trying to wrap my head around. Why? Mm. Because it's not just enough for you to say, it's a no, no. It's a, you have to understand why. Mm -hmm. Then maybe you can now see it from their own angle. So is it possible? I wouldn't agree with that, Osaiwame. I, I, I won't. Because even if they are bringing in their laptops to, you know, commit fraud and all that, does that give the hotel the right to do it? Mm. That's the key thing That's here. the question. It doesn't give them the right because it's totally illegal. Mm. So what's the difference between them and the fraudsters? There is no difference. Totally. That's why they say everybody's Yahoo right now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Tell me, let me well, come to I was to actually you. just wondering what it was because in my head I was playing out that scenario. Like even if they were fraud stars and all of that, okay, so they come with their laptops. So what are you trying to do? Record evidence for EFCC or what are you trying to do? No, maybe. Look, if you go online, like Airbnb and all these travel blogs and everything, there's loads of resources there um, for women. So women traveling alone or if you're traveling alone, you know, to a country you've never been to, how to keep yourself safe at the hotel safe. and all of that. And exactly. most of the information that I've seen over the years, you know, it's always about, oh, you know, be sure it's a great hotel. Um, make sure the, the hotel staff in front know that, you know, they know you are there. When you're going out to a place you don't know, let them know where you're going in case something happens. They, you know, a lot of things, a lot of the protection is around the hotel. But this is a case whereby the criminal is the hotel. hotel. <laughs> so I don't even know what to do. I tell you. <laughs> so what's the difference? I tell you. But I think, okay, so let us even move it away from this hotel. Mm. Because I, I remember that some years ago, um, a certain governor sent an invitation for me to come visit the state and all of that, his state, like do a tour of the state and all of that. I remember mm. when I was going to go, the kind of advice, they sat me down. When you're in the bathroom, <laughs> stay in the bathroom. Um, as in when you want to take off your clothes, mm. Be inside the bathroom and take off your clothes mm -hmm. and, you know, do not come out of the bathroom naked. Make sure you wear your clothes in the bathroom. The wow. rules were plenty. And because I think this thing about planting cameras, right, Started in a supposed somewhere. guest house or a, lo a lodge, I think it's, it's, it has been there for a while, but it's just that people were not just aware. This one is just a one of that came because mm -hmm. if you see the way they position that thing, Absolutely. they had to drill a hole into that air, air conditioning um, unit, mm -hmm. right? So when they gave me that advice that do not come out from the room, I mean, sorry, from your um, bathroom, bathroom, make sure when you don't have your bath, that was what I was doing every day because tomorrow somebody can just come out now and bring my naked pictures and say, uh, it's either you, you, pay. you pay or whatever. And of course, Nigerians that That's are not used bill. to... It's not even that. Nigerians that are not used to hearing this thing, they will just conclude, hey, hey! Don't go sleep with that. <laughs> you know, nobody would believe that. Exactly. You understand? <laughs> yeah, you want to come and tell me? Yeah, yeah, I was just saying that, yeah, they'll say, yes, we knew it. We knew she, there was more to her. Do you understand? And nobody would question it because, of course, it is clear evidence. 
So that's why when you see the court of law admit uh, and they tell you that, you know, even, even with setting some kind of evidence, yes. they still have to take their time to scrutinize. Now you understand why. Mm -hmm. You would understand why this is happening. So is this that the hotel is standing in as an informant? Or is, is it that the hotel is maybe the hotel, hotel is maybe undercover CM, EFCCA? You don't know whether it's EFCC that owns the hotel and the kind of people that are coming into the hotel. Only God knows that. But let me come tomorrow. I've not heard that in a minute. <laughs> okay, so, you know, I was just thinking, I was just thinking now, and I'm thinking that I don't think that this is only a Nigeria problem because now I'm remembering some foreign movies that I've seen. Mm -hmm. Sorry. You. <laughs> Go ahead, please. Foreign movies. Very move. Sorry that I'm using movies to compare reality, but you know what you see in movies sometimes. Sometimes comes to reality. reality. So exactly. now I'm using some some some, some American foreign movies that I've seen, and there has been crime committed, and you, you have the FBI say, "Pull up the camera in the room." You have a camera in the room in a hotel room, but you know from what they show. So now I'm thinking that perhaps there's two types of camera. So from what from what the from what these people pull out from from the FBI's request, you cannot clearly see these 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 persons. You can only see them in black and white, and there's like it's the the it's it's cascaded. You know, mm. there's like it's very pixelated. I don't know if you understand what yeah. I'm trying to say. So you know that somebody is there, but you cannot see them directly. You cannot mm -hmm. see that this is who are from ways, you know, you would have to zoom in, you have to cut the fish, you have to it run the like fish a through a software, you know, <laughs> to be to be sure. So I'm thinking Maureen, that perhaps I'm not there's sure different heard. types of cameras that you put in. I don't know. Maureen, I'm just trying to Maureen, make Maureen, sense I would say, I would say the image will look like a silhouette. She didn't get the joke. <laughs> like a <laughs> challenge. She didn't get the joke. I go. She just yeah, removed my heart from it in a consensus challenge. <laughs> okay, so you know what? Mm -hmm. So, you know, talking about this, I think also, mm -hmm. because if you look at the way the video that um, surfaced when they arrested the popular guy called um, Hush Puppy, okay. if you notice, they monitored him for quite some a while. time. So is it possible also, because I'm trying to rationalize this act mm. and not be emotional or sentimental about it. Mm. Is it possible that maybe these guys are on the police watch list? Because I have read or I have um, watched in the news of cases where certain people were traced to their hotel rooms in, in Dubai, you know, and arrested by mm -hmm. Interpol by FBI, you know, because they have been on the watch list of this, um, uh, what's it called, um, um, agencies for a while. Mm -hmm. So it is possible that if you are on the watch list, because I do not know why somebody wants to plant a camera in my room. Maybe. Wait, now we are we're having a so, conversation. I mean, uh, so oh, if there's an active it? investigation, if there's an active investigation mm -hmm. and FBI is working with Interpol and all of that, right, mm -hmm. they might go to the building um, managers of the hotel, you know, for uh, cooperation, you know. But even at that, they usually get a subpoena or some kind of law-type allowance for that. And you you hardly catch them putting cameras that will show you naked and all of that. I and think it's just a disrespect, total disrespect, a breach of human rights. Another thing I think is that if, for real, that was a scenario, huh? The way the manager was talking was, you know, was gesticulating. He would have immediately said, "You people are criminals, so you are no, on the watch list." That you will ruin it now. No, because no, 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 no. because they would sue him, and the hotel themselves so, haven't so come. It's supposed to be a developing I'm, story. Yes, I am so actually the waiting. hotel hasn't come in to say anything. Anything as well. I, I, so that I, means they're on the wrong side of the law. I haven't. Um, I haven't. Um, what's it called? Um, I am waiting to hear the part of the hotel to say, okay, this is part the reason. Because we are, trying, we are just trying to give them reasons. But let me take mm. another comment. Then, Tammy, I think you have a comment with you. Um, this is from Anjola. It says, Uber security, or let me say, transport security is also a, a major it. issue. Where you see people planting cameras in the vehicles. vehicles. But wait, why would somebody plant camera is the question. <laughs> Another thing you should You take must give them a reason to want to plant camera to track you. Usually, usually, 
from what I've seen or I know, I've seen this thing happen in vehicles because in some cases it's for the, um, especially taxis for example, mm. it's for the security of the taxi drivers or those who are involved in it because they carry different types of individuals. It's just like a, 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 a lady who is a night walker, mm -hmm. right? She would look for a way to, you know, protect herself when she moves to visit someone. Mm -hmm. That is something like that. So in this case, the guys carry all sorts of people and they're looking for ways to protect themselves. Where they do, do not have the, the, uh, some means of um, protecting themselves, at least it was out that this was what actually happened to me. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, okay. So moving forward, what do we do? Tammy, can you take your, uh, your comments quickly? Is Timmy I think there? Timmy's currently off. Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on, but I all right, so let me just take the comment. It says, I think we need to have an understanding of, a legal imp of the legal implication of having a camera in a guest room in a hotel. I really would like to know Bimbo. That's Bimbo from Agada. Uh, unfortunately, sadly, we were supposed to link up with um, Olamide oh, yeah. to, to tell us how to go about this legally. But unfortunately, she's um, unavoidable unavoidably absent. absent that's the english mm -hmm. <laughs> she's she's unavoidably absent but we we'll definitely want to follow up the story because why we're talking about this is we we talk about so many things in nigeria right absolutely i would never have traced this thing to what's it called to kidnap because trust me mm -hmm. if somebody has maybe seen I know some people travel with a lot of cash absolutely they travel with a lot of cash in hotel rooms and all of that so if somebody must have seen you display some of these things. It's just a matter of time. As you're driving out of the hotel, they follow you, they rob you, they kidnap you, mm -hmm. right? I mean, your details, they can view your details. That camera, those cameras are minute. usually very powerful. Exactly. It can zoom right into your, your, your mobile another... phones, your laptops, mm -hmm. and take all your details and clone that, um, that uh, what's it called, that device, and use it to commit all sorts of things, maybe empty and your accounts. If I, if I take us back to when you were talking about probably some security agency was, you know, trailing a set of people, basically, mm. that was what must have led to this. I would look at it from another perspective, which is we have so much, um, a lot have happened in technology today. Mm so much growth in technology. So if they really wanted to do it, a security outfit wanted to do it, whether it's a mercenary security outfit or not, they would have gotten the, the best of the best um, cameras. We, they wouldn't have had to plant inside a uh, hotel room. Okay. They can get whatever information they want to get. There are things, don't you watch Mission Impossible? Mm -hmm. There are things they get through just literally, CIA. just carrying the ca For those pass. that do not know, she has become CIA. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just be looking for you to come and help us fight crime in Nigeria. Mori, on the final thoughts, because we're running out of time. Yes. What would you say now, you know, how do you think this young boy should go about this? Do you think they should... Um, they should follow it through or they should just leave it, you know, because Nigerians, we know how to forgive. Mm. Hey, just move on. God will take care of everything for yeah. us. What do you think, Maury? I don't, I honestly don't think that we like to forgive or move on. It's just that because we know that if, except you are a certain somebody or you hold a set position, you know, may we not do wahala in vain. So we just honestly let it go because the system has a way of frustrating, you know, all your efforts. So I would say take it up to you the best of your ability, you know, to even check them, let them know that they've done something wrong. Mm. You know, even if you don't if you don't end up winning the case. And that will maybe set as an example for you know others that and this thing it could only mean that we have alarmed the other people to hide their cameras very well because we don't know if it's you know a hotel kind of thing because i'm sure that this is not the first hotel in history that is doing this but i will just say take it up to the best of your ability hmm. absolutely do we have Timmy back now okay. yes i'm here i mean the police command um already invited them for questioning mm -hmm. i i really wish that we could hear you know what really happened but we all know that around here that's not the reality we see exactly. all the pause at the beginning and then everything just goes quiet on but i really want to understand the thing you know and then the guy was so blatant so like yes i've it what's going to happen exactly. you know so it'll be interesting to know the kind of um thoughts that went into that 
But yes, if they have um, the capacity to sue, I dare say they go ahead. And let's see. Well, you see, the that, how much now, like, you don't even know how much they know about you right now. So you, how scared should you be as a person, Tammy, if you discovered this kind of a very, thing? Very scared. Um, very scared. And I know that when I saw that video, um, another thing that came to my mind is that, look, a lot of people shouting about privacy here puts all of their lives on social media. Let's maintain the same energy. Everything you put out there is something that can potentially be used to harm you. Okay. You know, so we have to be very careful. Some people, all you have to do is just go on their Facebook. You know what they had for breakfast. Exactly. You know where they holiday last summer. You know everything about their lives. You know what school to go. And that one, you are the one that took it on Facebook. Now. This one, you are inside a hotel room thinking you are quiet. But let me take a year from Lagos. Saying, so I said we should just keep that same energy, like in, in, in just protecting ourselves, Don't you know, worry. in watching out for yourself around here just be careful Absolutely. what you're putting out there because you never know who's lurking well, tell me, I'll come back to you. let me to quickly you. take aye i think he's from lagos thank you for joining us let's hear what you have to say quickly like in one minute but we don't have time again oh i think it's off it's, it's off it's okay so you see tell me what i was trying to explain to you is facebook let me use my hand type all the things put my location everything i put it there on facebook this one, I am seated in a hotel room, presumably in my head. I am home away from home. Mm -hmm. I am supposed to be resting. Just like imagine you and your husband decide to go on a resort and you leave everything you're doing mm -hmm. and you go to a resort. In your head, you should not be thinking that anybody's watching. In fact, when you even post pictures of that resort on social media, you do not put the location. So nobody even knows where you are. But these people that have planted the cameras, they've seen Tammy, they've seen her husband. They see the car you're driving, you know, they know, they can scan through a lot of things, probably get your address, get your bank details, get your everything about your life history. Maybe you're working on your, maybe it's a work, vac a work vacation, vacation where you're working on your laptop, you know? So those are the things that I'm even a bit scared about. Mm -hmm. I think we have a, a his or something from Lagos. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's hear what you have to say. A his. A his. A his, are you there? Hello, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Please let Hello. us. Hello. Yeah, thank you for joining us. Let's hear Hello, what you have Good to say. evening. Good evening. How are you? Very well, thank you. I don't think he can hear us. I think his TV is on. Yeah. I actually will just want to make a little contribution and uh, to let you know. Can you hear me? Go ahead, please. If you can hear us, go ahead. Yeah, so the issue of a spy camera in hotel. Listening to himself. I think Nigeria has not even started anything yet on that regard. But uh, sometimes ago, I watched a documentary. Okay, well, I think we need to cut him off. He's listening to himself. <laughs> Stop listening to yourself. Just keep talking. Hello, can you hear me? Okay, we need to cut him off. Thank you, uh, he's sorry about that. When you call in, please do not listen to yourself. Do not listen to your TV. Turn down the volume of your TV if you want us to have a conversation. Um, but I think we've even run out of time. But, you know, as I was saying, um, okay, I think I'm done with, um, I'm done with, uh, I'm done with Timmy. You know, like, so the analogy I was giving, so you are in a hotel. You, you shouldn't be expecting that somebody's watching you. And you didn't put out all those details out there. Mm -hmm. They are fishing for, the for, it. for it. Exactly. They are fishing for it. All right, so, um, you see. What do you want me to add to it? They've <laughs> practically said it all. We should just be more conscious of our environment. We should be alert. When, now that we know this is what is obtainable, what, is, what can happen when you go into a hotel room, yeah. just be alert. Pay attention to your environment. Get a detector uh, um, app and be able yeah, to get that it out. App, yes, I'm yes, going to collect so that app from very you. Important. All right, so Beth from Benin, thank you so much for joining us. Let's hear what you have to say. Hello. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Let's hear what you have to say. Hello, quickly. this best calling from Benin. I think it, uh, it is. I think it's wrong 
to plant cameras on, on maybe somebody goes out for vacation mm -hmm. uh, is 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 wrong morally and legally to plant camera i said that person is being wanted for he's been traced by the security mm -hmm. force like uh, police or fbi or interpol not that uh, like in nigeria how will you just place camera in a in a hotel being maybe somebody you know some people just go to the hotel to relax and do things yeah do uh, things you, see, uh, you will see a leaked video of you naked Doing online things. and you you cannot be able to to know where this thing come from hmm. so that that is one of the problems we're still talking about but if it's if it's recommended by the police that the police planted this camera it can be okay we can say okay because maybe they are trying to trace somebody or they are trying to know about somebody. But when you when it's for for the hotel, the hotel does not have any right to place camera on anybody. Absolutely. It is not right. Absolutely. And uh, I think if you look at that video, the man, the way the man was even talking, it was like maybe the man will even be using that video to blackmail hmm. most of the people that comes to that hotel. Hmm. Because you see, like, you see, if you if you watch most of this WhatsApp uh, TV, you will see some leaked videos of uh, of ladies, some leaked videos of uh, yeah. men. Uh, you, you see some leaked videos. Some people even use it to cash out in all these nudes uh, site or pump hub. Hmm. They just go to pump up and upload. Before you know, you see your video, and most people have already committed uh, different kind of hurt themselves. So sad. You see people depressed. They don't know where the the picture came or from. the video yeah. came out from. So it's very so it's actually wrong to a do big deal. that kind of a thing. We are trying to see how we can follow up on the story, but sadly we ran out of time. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, ladies. I mean, it was worth having Ethical that conversation. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you, Tammy. Thank, Thank you, Maury. Now, Waze was birthed from the need to in inform, inspire, influence lives towards action. And this year, we're starting our series here focused on curbing unemployment in Nigeria. Now, if you're a company, please partner with us by allocating internship slots. And if you're a job seeker, keep watching Waze and follow us on all our social media handles. This will be an all-year-round engagement. So tell a friend to keep all their eyes on Waze. Now, in case you missed today's call, here it is again. Privacy is not something that I am merely entitled to. It's an absolute prerequisite. So that's from Marlon Brando. We'll see you live tomorrow as we bring you another great conversation at 8 p.m. Enjoy.